Okay, so <clears throat> now I'm gonna cover All right. a couple of homesteading videos. Yes, I'm afraid so. This is on cucumbers, corn, and no, collards, cucumbers, and corn. This is what's left of the cash bank. Okay, so here we go. Collards, collard greens. This perennial. I didn't know that. Yeah. See, I, even I'm learning things new. I told you, I'm just a beginner. Did not know collard greens were a perennial. Ladies, the only thing that is this perennial is one of the oldest members of the cabbage family. Unlike kale, collards can withstand considerable heat. Yet they can tolerate cold better than they be, better than cabbages do. Collards grow in a large rosette of blue and green leaves. What, use one of the two planting methods. One in spring, sow seed or set out plants to stand 10 to 15 inches apart. Or two, in summer, sow seed thinly and let seedlings grow until large enough for greens. Then harvest seedlings to give 10 to 15 inches of space. They're also good in square foot gardening. And it's two per square foot so collars require little fertilizing successive plantings are not necessary for continuous supply harvest seedlings or entire plants or gradually pick the lower leaves something i'd like to say all right pick lower leaves of the collards to prolong the harvest okay corn sweet corn is ready to pick when the juice in the kernels is milky not watery Corn is a member of the grass family. To support its heavy appetite, corn needs a ready supply of food. Enrich the soil in advance of planting. If possible, plow under a half an one inch of layer of manure than preceding fall the preceding fall or grow a green manure crop. Turn this crop under in the spring before planting corn. So I'll probably see if I can get some manure to work into the soil, the part of the beds that I'm putting okay. corn in. I'm a marvelously gifted writer, just as long as I'm redoing somebody else's material. Turn this crop under I'm in the spring before planting. Okay, if you want fresh corn week after week, plant early in mid and mid-season varieties the same day. The result will be five to six weeks of steady eating. You can stagger planting dates by sowing a block of corn every 10 to 14 days for about a month. I have to remember that. Corn does not... <clears throat> corn does best... For you. In a full day of sun. Because of its height, plant it on the north side of the garden where it won't shade other sun loving plants. Do what you know you can do. For sturdy corn, plant seeds ten inches apart in a furrow or trench. Then hill the plants as they grow. Plant sweet corn in blocks of at least four rows to ensure good pollination. So that's also why they recommend four seeds per four, per square foot. Drink. If you're planting popcorn, keep it at least a hundred feet away from other corn. So I'll remember that. Thin the seedlings to eight to twelve inches apart. Leave the tillers those extra long stalks growing from the base. On the plants. When the plants are small, keep weeds under control so corn doesn't have to compete for nutrients. Watering is most effective at the time of tasseling and when kernels are forming. <laughs> Soak the soil at least four inches deep. For spectacular corn, side, side dress twice during the growing season with liquid <laughs> plant food, such as diluted fish emulsion or manure tea. Okay, yep. Andrews talked about the fish emulsion. He uses that for his plants. So I'll have to get some of that and stock up on it. Maybe I can figure out how to make it and we can stock our pond on our property. 
We're going to build one. We're going to put one in. Sweet corn is at, is at its best for only a few days. 18 to 20 days after the silks have been pollinated. Its juice is milky. Test by puncturing a kernel with your fingernail to see if it squirts out. If you're too early, the juice will be watery. Too late, and the kernels are doughy. Look for dark green husks, brown but not brittle stalks, and well-filled ears. Cucumbers. Cucumbers are warm weather plants that belong to the squash family, and I love cucumbers. Cucumbers fresh off the vine are amazing. Andrew does not like cucumbers. Forty years later, Laura Ingalls Wilder finally had her first book published. Okay, sorry. <laughs> it was only the first of many in the now famous Little House series that is so popular today. This time, they are generally grown no in mounds and send out vines. Cucumbers do well on trellises and resent transplanting. Okay, so that's why you, I always just sow cucumber seeds out and sorry, my nose just in the actual soil. Since trellis plants dry out more quickly, watch their water supply. Side dress with a 5-10-10 fertilizer in a band around the plants when they blossom. Cover the fertilizer with soil so, so the leaves don't flop down on it and get burned. Mulch with hay between the mounds for weed control. Okay. We won't have to worry too much about weed control. with raised beds but they'll be a little bit all right so that was collards corn and cucumbers and i'm going to go ahead and get off from here and get this up there and i will see you guys in a minute on the next one bye guys